In this video, we're going to be looking at the uh, Boogaboo B, the original version, not the B+, and a common problem that can occur with the mechanism that controls putting the seat in various upright positions. And this is that, this arm that goes into the side of the seat can lose a stopper on the end inside the mechanism and become loose. So in order to fix this, we are going to have to remove the seat and then open up this mechanism and replace the stopper. And we're actually going to make a few modifications to the original um, design from Boogaboo to make it stronger. So the first thing you want to do is remove the seat. Okay, now we're going to need to open up this mechanism. So we're going to loosen the fabrics on the seat and then we're going to remove five screws. Two of which are on the inside here and here. And the remaining three are beneath the fabrics. They're a little hard to see perhaps, but if you pull the fabrics aside on yours, you'll see one, two, and three. And these can be of different lengths, so you need to remember which one goes in to which hole. Okay, now I've removed the screws, and uh, we can take off this top panel. There is a little rubber stopper here, which uh, you should take care of. And, uh, as with most Boogaboo mechanisms, the uh, insides are rather complex and comprised of many parts. Now, the way this mechanism works is that there is this metal peg that extends from the arm through the slit in the top panel. And as you... I'll hold this while I show you. As you pinch in on this, the mechanism pulls this back. And this allows this to slide along here and fit into different grooves, which are the various positions of the seat. Now, the part that has gotten messed up does not involve this mechanism at all. So as long as this plastic piece is in order and is not too damaged, you can leave this alone. What you need to fix is a little metal stopper that holds this tightly within the groove. The metal stopper surrounds the pin, bringing its width out such that it doesn't just fall out. Yes? So, in order to do this, you're going to have to reapply the metal stopper, and there is a small groove here that can erode a bit, and, and we're going to have to then... I'm going to use a sander. Uh, sometimes you can use some kind of a pinching cutting tool, but don't don't damage this pin too much or you'll be in trouble because uh, it's not just a screw. And I'm going to make it a little bit deeper and then we're going to put a new washer or stopper there so that it is tightly attached with inside this groove. Okay, I've uh, corrected the groove using my Dremel on this pin and now I've been placing stoppers to fill in the groove as much as I can. And I just wanted to show you these these stoppers, they are they have a series of teeth that go in towards the center hole. And you need to make sure that these are straight. You need to straighten them out with a wrench before placing them on the, the pin and then hammering the thing down, the stopper down. And then when it's down, what I use to hammer it down is a pipe one that fits as tightly around the pin as possible. And then when it's down, you need to use the same hammering of the pipe in order to make the teeth as straight inside the groove as possible and thus give it the necessary resistance so that it doesn't come off again. Okay, now I have uh, used two metal stoppers with a plastic ring on top and it is uh, pretty solid. I'm not getting a lot of wiggle room side to side. That's what's important, is that the metal stoppers that you've used are fit inside the grooves tightly. So uh, if there's excess room, then when you tilt it, you can bend those teeth, and then it'll pop right out. I've also greased up the inside track, but I'm going to be careful not to get it on the fabrics. Now we're gonna put this uh, mechanism back together, and do not forget to take this rubber stopper and place it with the indented side out, right there in the groove, and then put this back on, 
And you want to make it so that that little metal pin fits straight into one of those positions. You can later adjust the position. And now we're going to simply put two screws in from there, three th screws in from there, uh, as you took them out, and then test it on the stroller itself. Okay, now we've uh, remounted the seat and tested out the weight in various uh, positions, and uh, it holds, so we're happy with it. Um, the Boogaboo B is a, uh, has very precise, complicated plastic mechanisms. Uh, it can be a very nice stroller if you're using it with a small child. Not recommended for children who are too large, but you need to be careful with it. You need to um, be aware, a little bit aware of how it works and uh, not overexert any of the mechanisms. Um, yeah, otherwise though, this repair is now finished.